In this next operation, we're going to machine off the top of this little wing here. To do this, you're going to use Topologic again. Select Topologic, and now select that face of the model. Top Solid Cam analyzes all the faces surrounding that face and comes up with either facing or spiral open pocket. In this case, we're going to use spiral open pocket. Now, let's reuse the 5 8 end mill that's currently in the spindle. To do that, simply just double click it here in the list. You'll see it come up visually. Say OK. Now, let's set our depth of cut. We'll set this to maybe 100 thousandths. Let's leave 20 thousandths on the bottom, 20 thousandths on the sides, and let's even set the 20 thousandths on the islands. Now, in this case, there are no islands, but if a design change came through from Top Solid where islands were added, when you rebuilt the toolpath, you're now safe because you've already told Top Solid Cam that if islands exist, say 20 thousandths away from them. Now, Let's click on the Update Machining area. Here you can see the toolpath that Top Solid Cam is going to make. Let's maybe go set this the way we want it to run. To do that, let's go to Machining Method, Successive Contouring. Let's set our external clearance distance, in this case, to zero. Let's also set the step over. Now, another way to set your step over here is to type the diameter of the cutter, asterisk for times, and point 0.4. When you do this and hit the Tab key or click to another field, Top Solid Cam automatically calculates the math for you. Now we're going to say OK and OK. And here you can see the tool automatically plunges off the part correctly and machines off that face.